Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Helpful Lockpicker here, and I was just wondering, have you ever wondered what Locksport may have looked like over 10 years ago? What I would like to do today is to share a channel that started around 11 years ago. It was probably one of the earlier channels in Locksport on the YouTube platform. I was really interested to see what the topics they were covering, what the video quality was like, and just what the general format was like. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share a few clips from a channel that started 11 years ago. All right, so the channel that I'm going to share with you is going to be Bruno2260. This channel started about 11 years ago, and it has not had an upload since 10 years ago. So what I'm going to do right now is show you a quick clip of a bypass of the master lock model number 175. This is a lock that we're all very familiar with, but it'll be very interesting to see how it was done 10 years ago. All right, guys. And again, we're going to pick you a number 175. I don't know if you can see that. Number 175 master lock. It's a combination lock. This I don't know the combo. I'll show you how it works. You can see I cut it. I cut a window in the back, and I'll show you. You want the numbers up. Stick your number 8 fuel gauge right in there. It's the easiest one to get in with the most dextricity I guess you want to call it and you see that silver plate right there copper looking plate that's what you want to lift up you want to get your gauge underneath that press in a little bit on the shank lift up on the I don't know if you can see that press down it lifts up the plate and it's open now I'd like to share with you a bypass on a very common lock that we work on a lot when we're first starting out. It's the master lock model number 140, and I'm going to roll a clip on that for you right now. Alright guys, this is a remake on a master lock 140. A couple of you guys still had a little, some questions there about how to do it. I'll try to explain a little bit more. I got the sound in sync too, so that might be a little bit helpful. Anyway. Left, right side, pick towards the back, okay, and uh, left side, pick towards the front, lean towards the front, okay, I'll show you, there you go, there you go, you got to turn your pick around, what he's doing is feeling for the spring action and pulling it over, and the practice on, on the left side, he's pulled over, and you can see the, uh, actually see the half moving, you see it, that means you got it. And one final video I'd like to show a quick clip on is going to be a Century 1100 safe being opened up with just a paper clip. This is a really cool video to watch because of how old it is and just seeing how Locksport has changed throughout the years. Okay guys, uh, had a request to open a Century 1100 with a paper clip and we're going to give that a try right now. And 90 it over. So it looks like that. Uh, you might want to put a little handle on the end and spend it any which way. Just like that. That's your tension wrench. Stick it in there. Stick your tension wrench in there. Make the rake. Take the other end of the paper clip. Stick it in about an eighth inch and 45 it up just like that. Put a little handle on the end. Again, bend it any which way. And, uh,. It says he lost his key. Mm -hmm. Make sure you go all the way back and get that last wafer in there. Can you see? There you go, you're in. And uh, very light tension and this rake, and hopefully you get it all. And uh, not a bad haul, huh? Check it out. But thank you guys so much for checking out Bruno2260. It was really cool to see all of these clips that are over 10 years old and just seeing how much Locksport has changed. The video cameras have changed. 1080p is become the standard and now we are starting to move on to 4K. There is so much more higher resolution and better quality. In Locksport we have a lot of more channels where people are speaking. Back in the beginning days many of the channels people did not speak in their videos. The sport has gotten much more popular and it is just a really cool thing to be able to go back 
back in time. So the video I have for you today is going to be my Locksport update. This is a video series that I started so I can share some of the updates throughout the week, whether it be anything I'm working on or anything the community has been working on. What I'd like to do over the next few weeks is highlight some of these older channels so you can get a glimpse back into the past. So what I'd like to start off this week's Lock support update is by mentioning Lockmania. What he is doing for the month of December up till Christmas is he's doing a video every single day. That is a really huge feat to take on and I really congratulate you on being able to do it so far. So if you'd like to check out those daily videos, what I'll do is I'll put a link up on the top here so you can check out Lockmania. He's a really great guy and worth checking out. The next channel I'd like to mention is Gordon W. He just wanted to share that he's been working on a lot of different challenge locks. He has just picked his first cast block, and he's been sending out a lot of Euro locks. You may have seen in a previous Locksport update that really large package he was able to get in, and he was able to start to give out some of these locks to the community, and that is a really nice feat, and I'm really happy that he has been able to give back to the community. The next channel I'd like to mention is Thumper. Thumper is a really great guy and a really growing channel. He has been working on a lot of cool challenge locks and he got a really cool tool in over the last few weeks. He's been making some really cool challenge locks using jewelry saw blades. And what I'd like to do is just roll a quick clip of some of the cool pens that he's been able to make with that tool. You got pin T pins and I made some pin and pins. Um I try to do some checker piece pieces like a bond, um, triple serrations, spools, um, you name it, I made it. If you enjoyed checking out the locks that Thumper has been able to make and you have checked out some of his content and you'd like to see more like it, what I'm going to do is I'll put a link up on the top here so you can check out and consider subscribing to Thumper. I have a few congratulations I'd like to give out for some really cool locks that have been picked this week. UK Lock Picker. He just picked an Asa Twin. That is a really great accomplishment. That is a very difficult lock and that is just so cool to see more people opening up high security locks. Hi YouTube, UK Lock Picker back with another video. Tonight's video is going to be the long anticipated picking of this Asa Combi. Um, Thanks Mark Archer for the lock, it gives us a headache, and it's given us an even bigger headache trying to get it on camera, as some of you will know. Um, in this lock, you've got six um, normal pins, uh, you've got acid spills, or gin bottles, I'm not too sure, whichever way it is round, um, but they do get caught up quite good. And then in the top right, you've got five finger pins which controls the sidebar. That's the bitten for the standard pins, and that's the bitten which is quite jaggedy for the finger pins. Yes. Oh, <clears throat> apologies for the longer video, but that it is there picked. If you guys enjoyed watching UK Lock Picker open up that lock, the Asa Twin, what I'm going to do is I'll put a link up on the top here so you can consider checking out more of his videos and subscribing. Another cool lock that was opened up this week was a Medico Duracam. The person that opened up this lock was Saspas. He is a really great guy and he's a really interesting channel to watch. What I'm going to do is just roll a quick clip of him opening up that Medico Duracam. Throughout the video he is offering a lot of explanation of what he's doing and it is a great video to learn the process on how to open up one of these locks. Uh, hi. 
Today I have, as you can see, medical Duracam. Um, it's a medical lock sent to me by Squint. Squint, thank you very much for sending it to me. This is my first medical lock. Um, and I really learned how to pick this lock and how to manipulate the medical pins. So um, I will try now to pick them to pick this medical. Usually I'm picking this lock like in, the, I don't know, uh, depends one to five to 10 minutes. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes now. So now pin to its binding, I think, and I need to, and I think now pin number one and maybe, maybe I will try to warrant it properly. Oh yes. So if you enjoyed watching SaucePass open up the Medico Duracam and you'd like to check out more videos by him, what I'm going to do is put a link up on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. He has a really great channel, always making some great content, and I highly recommend you check him out. What I'd like to do now is just do a few welcome backs. I noticed that recently Wadek2 has came back into the YouTube community making some more videos. He has been on a little bit of a hiatus and you can see his most recent video that he posted very recently opening up a Wilson Bohannon and I will roll a really quick clip of that and that is a pretty cool lock to open up. guys, I'm WaterC2 from UKLockSport.co.uk and this is a video of single pin picking a beautiful full brass Wilson Bohannon padlock from just eased off on the tension a little bit and it's just got it That's picked open. Another welcome back I'd like to do is Mark Chapter 13. Mark Chapter 13 has been on a little hiatus as well on YouTube. He is known for collecting a lot of different high security locks. He's always looking to make a trade. And if you have any interesting locks you'd like to trade, I recommend you contact him. He's a really great guy. He's very reliable and he just has a really great collection. So what he shared this week was a quick video of some of the locks that he has collected. It is just a small glimpse of his collection. What I'm going to do is to show a very brief clip of that and I'll put a link up on the top here so you can can get to the video if you would like to check out all of his locks. Hello everyone, Mark chapter 13. Uh, I, had, I haven't made a video in quite a while and uh, I've gotten some new things, not all of it's here. Um, this is kind of just what I had uh, available. It's like a push lock, they, they call it a concentric lock. Um, also today I got a two bar. Uh, this is a fiche, um, fichette, I've heard people call it. A lock I'd been looking for for quite a while was a van lock, and that's what this is. This is another lock that I just uh, got, and um, it is a Vidmar, and it's Swiss made, as you can see. This has been a really cool week. It's been really nice seeing everyone share their videos and commenting in the description below to share. One thing I'm really excited to see is that the community is, seems pretty happy with Lock Noob keeping his name as it is. It is a very established name and thank you to everyone that was able to share your opinion on that. Um, subject last week. And if you guys have anything that you would like to share for next week's Locksport update, I highly encourage you to leave it in the comments below. I really like getting a nice discussion going on what everyone has been working on, and I really like being able to share what everyone's been working 
on with the community. So if you have anything at all that you'd like to share, please leave it in the comments below. But that is all I have for you today, guys. This has been my Locksport update. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I really encourage you to share any updates. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you all have a great day, and just thank you so much for checking this out.